Last week, obviously 5-0 and you let a, goal, a lot of goals into the back. Tonight, you seem very, very tight and organised. Uh, tell me what you did in the week that made the big difference. Uh, I think in the last week we uh, are not organised in the last five minutes and also we play against a very strong team. But uh, tonight uh, we play very compact, very disciplined, a fight for every ball. And if you see, we missed... Uh, our captain, we missed uh, Absalon, some we missed Baba, maybe Matt Moore is away in December, and we stay on the pitch with uh, two experienced players, uh, Ersan Gulum and Adlung, and the rest is a boy group. And I'm I'm very proud for for the for the performance and for for the good game. I think the result is correct. He obviously, as you spoke, uh, Adlon, I think he had an extremely good game today and also in, in, in defence. Um, as a coach, uh, how do you try and give your experience to players, young players, as you, Doherty tonight was, was big for you guys too going on. Uh, what do you do as a coach to try and promote them and, and give them the confidence to play? I give them the best um, of the way, the best information about the opponents. Um, we have a, a game plan, defense, and in our off- offense phase, and yeah, and the boys uh, stay together. The team spirits are very good, and uh, they fight for success. They are hungry for success, and that's uh, yeah one of the reasons. Uh, I felt tonight both teams had very tight lines, um, very organised defensively, midfield, very tight. Not much space between them, so you can affect them both sides of it. Um, and just the goal to difference for Blackwood, obviously good to have him back. But uh, as a coach, how, how do you break down a side like that? How do you plan your side to, to attacking a side that you think is going to hold back more? Um, I'm not sure. Can you, can you repeat, please? Or, uh... you, you, you're, you're planning as a side that seemed to play deep. How do you counter that? Not, yeah, not not really deep, but uh, if if you stay one one nil in front, maybe, and you play away in Wellington, then it's normal that you must more draw back. But uh, our plan was uh, to to attack out of a good organisation, out of a mid midfield press, and um, yeah, I think they they uh, did it well. I think we have a big chance with George in the second half, or two or three from the left side play maybe six meter in front of the goal and if he have more experience he need to uh, he get two touches and score but um, it's good we are on the right way and uh, it's a process always from the young boys and you mentioned obviously SIS coming back in for yourself um, Absalonson who was key at the start of the season for you yes. um, coming back in the squad uh, you must be happy as a coach looking forward to the end of the season now we're having most players available no more internationals hope of the young team and uh, you, obviously title contentions you think your squad's good enough to be in there or that roundabout? We hope but we have a look uh, game per day a game per game not to the end of the season today it was a very important game for both teams and uh, we are the winner and that's very good to get three points back from Wellington and now we have a long week to practice and to, to get the boys fit for, for, for the game against Perth. That's also a team they will get in the finals and maybe they start again by nil and I hope we can perform well. Okay Marco, well done tonight. Obviously three points important to you. Very good and all this of the season. Thanks Marco.